Hey, what's going on there, folks? It's a guitar story in here with you today. And uh, we have kind of an exciting video today because uh, this is the first time that I'm taking my show on the road. We're going to be heading to an antiques mall sort of area thing. I don't know. I haven't ever been there before, but it's in Pittman, New Jersey. It's called Uptown Antiques. Apparently, they have several different stores in one there. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting down there. I've already spoken with Jack, the owner, who um, was gracious enough to allow us to come down and film today. So they do have a lot of guitars there and uh, definitely wanted to play around with some and uh, see what they have. Not sure if we're going to buy something today, but we'll see. Um, they also have records and things like that, and you know, I'm always looking for stuff to go on the back wall when I'm doing my videos. So uh, we're going to have a nice drive down and see what's going on at Uptown Antiques in Pittman, New Jersey. Japanese bullet fender, I believe. So, I'm thinking this body is, uh, I don't know what it is. It's undersized, and uh, I can tell that the pickguard is kind of self-cut out of a, looks like a piece of purloid. The neck is really nice. It is a Japanese uh, Squire bullet neck, a Tele neck style. So um, the neck is really cool, actually. I do like it. If I could just buy the neck, I would. But um, it definitely looks like this was kind of put onto some kind of modified squire body so I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here some of you guys may remember Rick Beato a video from not too long ago about a Vox bolt-on neck this one has definitely seen better days looks like it's had a neck repair and it's had a bridge repair um, but uh, 
still playable. The badge on the inside looks like it's been lost, but uh, these guitars were definitely made to uh, be fairly cheap. This one is by far the coolest guitar down here. Fender. This is a Fender, uh, I believe it's the 25th anniversary model from 1979. This thing is absolutely heavy. As, I mean, this is like Les Paul heavy. I have no idea what the hell is in this thing to make it so heavy. But the wood that they use on this feels like really, really heavy wood. Um, 70 style headstock. The only thing is, I'm not 100% sure that this neck is original to the guitar. I could be wrong. But considering the wear on the neck, which is almost non-existent, and the wear on the guitar, I feel like it's possible that these two don't match. And the only other problem is there's no serial number on the back of this neck. So... Um, the neck says made in the USA, but there's no serial number on it. And yeah, I think the body and the, the plate, I can barely hold it. <laughs> it's that heavy are real, but I don't think that, um, I don't think that the neck is, I don't think the neck is original to the guitar, but this thing is really massive. And the cool thing about it is. It's from 1979, so it's the same age as me today. Um, today's my birthday, so there you go. Right, we'll look at some of the uh, cooler axes in here. Now, most of the stuff down here in the basement, as uh, the owner did say, is that some of it are kind of Frankensteins. This is, I believe, a Fender Strat neck that's real, but I think the body is pretty much a uh, user creation. It's extremely light, and uh, there's no... There's no serial number anywhere, so I'm pretty sure. He's got a couple of um, Gibson Classicals here. Definitely Gibsons. One is an uh, electric classical, as you can see with the hole there. Got a uh, Telecaster Deluxe. It's pretty nice. Nice color to it. Here's the fake Gibson that we played a minute ago. It actually played pretty good, to be honest with you. Epiphone slash special. Here's a Fender Japanese Strat with the uh, Floyd Rose style bridge. And there's a couple other, I believe, Frankenstein kind of Squire and Fender guitars here. Really cool Orpheum. Looks like uh, probably 60s era. He's got a really cool 50s Dan Electro uh, amp with the convertible Dan Electro. Here, here's the Vox I was playing, the Jimmy Page Ramble On special type of guitar with the bolt-on neck. What else we got down here? Oh, the 75th anniversary, of course, which I don't believe the neck is original to, but I could be wrong. There's no serial number on either the plate or the uh, neck, so that's a big red flag to me. Fender Mustang bass with Seymour Duncans. That is righteous right there. That's a cool bass right there. I might need to plug that in. Wow, that's a that Jackson's in nice shape. I, I should probably plug that in because it looks like it's got a nice neck on it. This is a Squire Strat Affinity with a really nice, looks like an Aztec gold kind of finish to it. Really cool. Dean 12 string. And a Kent. Really cool. Righteous, man. You got some acoustics down here. You got a Yamaha Classical. You got a Memphis bass, which kind of looks kind of like a um, Jackson knockoff type of thing. Some kind of mixed acoustics. I've never in my life seen a PV acoustic guitar. But there you go. We have a PV acoustic, which I think is just super cool. We got a Fender with some cracks there. 
Got a couple Deans over here, metal machines. Here's another cool bass, Epiphone Thunderbird. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. A couple more acoustics over here. We called this the Boneyard. There's some righteous looking old stuff down here. Righteous. Here, I believe, is uh, Gibson ES. 100 series of some sort. You can see the back is kind of off of there. Let's see if we can take a look inside. Yeah, man. Amazing. So, it's a really cool shop. But yeah, there's a lot of guitars that are like uh, what is that? Agile guitars? Okay. Here's a Dean kind of Strat copy right here that looks kind of cool. But I gotta, I gotta plug in that Jackson real quick. All right, so we're heading out from uh, Pittman, New Jersey here in Uptown Antiques. Just wanted to thank Jack, the owner, and uh, the staff here for letting me kind of do my thing for a little bit. Uh, this is the first in the series, so I'm still kind of working out the kinks as far as how everything's going to look. But um, the main thing is, you know, there's a lot of gems out there. you got to be able to look around and really dig and, and find these places that... Uh, a lot of people might not know about these little gems and stores that people are still keeping alive as far as you know selling gear and selling things that you're not just gonna see every day and this place has tons of guitars that um, are just one-offs I mean they're, they're they're guitars that you're not gonna see anywhere else and I think that you know people who know what they're looking for and know how to really shop for a guitar will be able to walk in there and have a really good time and, and really see a lot of things that they're not going to see anywhere else, frankly. So definitely check this place out. Uptown Antiques in Pittman, New Jersey. Uh, like I said, the staff was really great and uh, there's just so much stuff there. I could literally, without the business side, I'm just going to have to go back to shop because I didn't even get a chance to look at the records. I didn't get a chance to look at any of the coins. They have a bunch of uh, war memorabilia. They just got all kinds of stuff in this place. So make sure you check them out. And this is the Guitar Historian signing off.